his style. I think it's a unique style. I, from what I know, have not seen anything like that uh, uh, in any of the contemporary artists before. I've met Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Jasper Johns, uh, uh, Isma Noguchi, and so these people are like driven. It's almost like they're in some strange tribe where they have to do this, and that's what they. It's their art is their life, and their. And Marcus is one of those where he's got to do this. Yeah, I think I think I'm obsessed. I think I'm obsessed. There's no question about it. You know, I think you have to be obsessed in a way if you want to do something really well. He is a very caring, responsible person. The environment is a, a big subject of his, which you see in his paintings. I think, of course, his military past you very often see in almost all of his paintings. I think at some point in the military, I, I, I realized that uh, the energy that I was putting out for that, I could put out for something that I was really, really interested in for me, um, that still had to do with service. It seems like Marcus has this, it's almost like a satellite that can read license plates, where he's looking at everything Everything I do is, um, as I said before, instinctive, but it's also, it comes from a very subconscious realm. He is uh, very interested uh, in today's uh, political, economic, environmental subjects. There's a general um, darker feel to my works, and uh, it's obviously intentional because it is a reflection of our current times. Some compared him now as the, the modern Keith Haring. I think he has nothing of Keith Haring in his paintings. Yeah, you don't compare artists with other artists. You learn about who that artist is. I couldn't compare him to, to anybody alive or dead.